Hello and welcome to Big Friendly Grab. I hope you're well, you wonderful people. I am Matt, this is Roko. She's joining me for this video. Um, actually, she's not. She's just making herself known, aren't you? Today, as you can see, I am in my living room, not my kitchen, although my kitchen is just over there, so technically I am still in it. But today, I'm in my tasting position. Um, do you mind? <laughs> I'm in my tasting position today because I am trying some more spicy food, or rather, some spicy sweets today. I think the last one of these I put up was the Death Nut Challenge, uh, which I had my good friend Stiv uh, join me and we both had a spectacularly unpleasant time. Oh no, it's making me sweat. Ah! It's just, my hands are tingling. <laughs> You're shaking. Is it as bad as the chocolate? It's worse. <laughs> it was awful. But I wanted to try another one because these caught my eye on Amazon. And these are, today, I am getting Bean Boozled. Bean Boozled from Jelly Belly. Now, if you've not had Jelly Belly sweets before, I'm actually quite surprised because they're quite popular over here and in the US, I think. They do all sorts of flavors from, you know, strawberry right up to vomit and stinky socks, if I recall correctly. Um, but these, these are their spicy jelly bean challenge. It's called the Flaming Five Challenge. And the idea is you're supposed to do it with friends, but I can't have any friends here and uh, it would be animal cruelty to give them to Roko here. So I'm going to do these by myself. It's got like a spinner in it. In fact, let's open the box. So you can see it's got a spinner in here with five different flavors and heat levels. So the minimum one is jalapeno, then it goes up to sriracha, both pretty mild chilies. Then it goes up to cayenne, which has got a bit more of a kick to it. Love a bit of cayenne in some of my food. Then it goes up to habanero, getting a bit hotter there, and then right up to Carolina Reaper, which uh, I've had my encounters with before. I'm interested in these because Jelly Belly is a well-known brand, and I'm interested to see how much heat they've managed to pack into these things. So usually you would do this with friends, and you would take the spinner, and you would spin it and see which one you get. Uh, that landed right in the middle of habanero and cayenne. <laughs> um, I'd probably have to have both, I would think. But because you have to do with this friends, this is a bit irrelevant today. So I'm going to do these by myself in heat order. So I've got my bag of jelly beans here all mixed into their different flavors. So I'm going to have to organize these first. So um, yeah, bear with me while I do that. Okay, I've got my jelly beans arranged in front of me in heat order, I hope, because colors are fairly similar, but I think green is jalapeno, that's pretty clear. Then the slightly peachy colored ones are sriracha, and we've got like the darker red ones, darky browny ready is cayenne, then we've got the orangey ones are habanero, and then the brighter red ones are Carolina Reaper, I believe. I could be wrong, and I could get this heat order all messed up. But because I'm kind of doing this by my own, I am going to do these in heat order. I'm probably gonna pop in like a couple at first just to gauge the heat, and then I'll just take each one and shove it in my gob and see how I get on with it. I'll probably try and like do like a minute for each one just to see how I can get on with the heat, unless, you know, the jalapeno one, I don't anticipate being too hot, so I might just move straight on to the sriracha one and see how I get on. But if it's gonna be particularly hot, then I might wait a minute before moving on to the next one and then finish off with the, hopefully, Carolina Reaper ones and see how I get on with those. See if it can last like five minutes before needing to have a drink or, or, or anything like that. Kind of like what we did with the Death Nut Challenge. I don't know what the Scovilles of these are. I reckon probably the Carolina Reaper is two million plus Scovilles, Scovilles? <laughs> two million plus Philip Scovilles. Um, I think the Carolina Reaper ones will be 2 million plus Scoville units because that's kind of the bar for Carolina Reapers by themselves. It could be more, 
if they've used like extract or something like that, it could be like in the five millions, 12 millions, I don't know. But I think it would warn me if it's that high. There's nothing on here to say how much the Scoville units are. So I'm just hesitating at a guess here. But I think the jalapeno ones should be fairly harmless, he says, because jalapenos are absolutely fine. So I'm gonna pop two of the jalapeno ones in and see how I get on with these. Oh no, I've got a bit of spice to them actually. <clears throat> oh dear. Oh, they taste nice. I could be underestimating these. They've certainly got that chili smell. As soon as you open that bag, you get a waft of chili. Um, so they might well have infused these with extract, in which case I could be in real trouble here. Still, you've got off lightly on this one. Thank the lockdown for this, otherwise you might be here with me for this. Right, I'm gonna braid it. I'm gonna put all of these jalapeno ones into my gob at once. Cheers. It's a way of shutting me up for a bit as well. Very chewy. Okay, those are quite nice. They do have a heat to them. They're a lot spicier than I anticipated for jalapenos. So that's going to leave the rest of these quite interesting. Yeah, ooh, okay. Well, I mean, I could leave it a minute, but to be honest, did the death nut challenge. I'm not gonna let some jalapeno ones put me off straight away. So moving on to Sriracha. these ones in. Mmm. It's got a flavours right on these. Those do taste like sriracha. Oh, those are quite tasty. Probably about the same sort of heat level as the other ones. But in we go with these. Probably after these I will leave it like a minute just to kind of let the heat dissipate and get back to kind of like how it was. But I'm gonna press on. Whoops. So I'm gonna press on. Handful of sriracha jelly beans. Right. Those were actually pretty tasty. Um, definitely got heat to it. Not any worse than the other ones, but definitely tasty. But I'm gonna leave it a minute now. Mm -hmm. Don't have a timer on me today, so I will just judge it by my watch. Okay, let's say about a minute from two, one, now. So, I guess that's me trying to talk to the camera for a minute, but it's been a while since I've done one of these, and it kind of ends up in me chatting at the camera while I wait for this heat to do its thing because I try not to edit these too heavily. And I think I might edit these so that perhaps I fast forward through the chewing because no one needs to see me chewing for 30 seconds, but I'm definitely getting a good amount of heat from those two early ones. Um, mouth is watering, tongue's tingly, nose is a little sniffly, kind of what I'd expect from most heat to be honest, but nothing overwhelmingly bad. Uh, nothing on the level of the death nut, that's for sure. That was extremely unpleasant. How are these next three will be remains to be seen. But the thing I'm impressed about is the flavour of these. That's the thing with Jelly Belly Sweets. They do get everything really close. Even the disgusting ones like Earthworm and Vomit and Stinky Socks. Those are highly disgusting. Um, earwax as well. But yeah, I think, I don't know, don't know what the method is, but oh, that's my one minute up. Um, we'll get back onto that in another minute. So, I'm going to take the cayenne pepper ones. So, these will be probably significantly hotter, I reckon. But here we go. Uh, I'm going to take two at first, just to see how they taste and what I can expect. Sorry, I thought I was going to let out a disgusting burp there, but I did not. That might happen, by the way, because I'm not editing this um, very much, and quite frankly, this sort of thing, 
produces noises, so apologies in advance. That definitely tastes like cayenne, which is quite weird because cayenne is something I put into my foods as kind of like a background flavour to add notes of heat and stuff like that. So to get the full on flavour it's like, I don't know, it's like putting a half a teaspoon of cayenne in your mouth, which is weird, but I'm going to go in with the rest. Okay, that is the cayenne pepper ones. Definitely more heat there because it's starting to go down the back of my throat, which is fun. Oh, and into the ears. There we go. Got that fun thing the ears feeling because all of this is connected. All your sinuses and stuff like that. Clears your ears and your nose and everything out right out. So I didn't have a cold before and I probably won't after this. <coughs> but anyway, um, I'm not going to talk, or well, I am going to talk, but from now, one minute. So, yeah, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I was saying about Jelly Belly, and I think what they actually do is they do actually get like, somehow, the essence, the, 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 the taste from what they're trying to, you know, create here. I'm not sure how they do it, it, but it's almost like they get some of the aroma or something like that from whatever they're creating. So that probably means there's some sort, some poor bugger who has to go and get the essence from vomit or something like that, which sounds highly unpleasant. <clears throat> but there is some sort of clever process about it, which I might look up because I'm probably not explaining it very well. But they do actually get like some of the essence or aroma or something from whatever they're trying to recreate in these jelly beans, which is clever, but also unpleasant. <sighs> Oh, my tongue is really starting to tingle a bit now. Yeah. But that is, is that a minute? I can't remember where I left that off. I'm gonna give it another 30 seconds just in case I, I've mistimed it. But I will put a timer up as well because then it can be more accurate. And if I last longer, hooray for me. Oh, excuse me, let's see what I mean. Uh, Roko's just sat down over there now, just having a nice wash while I sit here and punish myself for your entertainment. Right, two, one, okay. Moving swiftly on. Now we're getting into the hot stuff, hotter stuff. Habaneros. So, I've got two here. In these go. It's been quite pleasant. Habaneros are quite fruity. They're quite good for sauces and <coughs> ketchup, sorry. Um, <coughs> that was a, that was a noise. Oh, dropping one. It's all right, I've got it. Right, in with these. Okay. Those ones don't feel a lot worse than the last one. It's definitely still hot. Nose is <coughs> starting to run. But they had a nice fruity flavour to them, like I said. Uh, yeah, there's something about habaneros that's quite fruity and they're really good for hot sauces and ketchups and things like that and adding like fruity heat to uh, various recipes and things like that. But um, I'm not timing myself there. I'm going to say that's about 25 seconds. Uh, but I... I had forgotten what I was going to say, but yeah, habaneros, very, very nice for, I'm going to be repeating myself here, sorry about this, but yeah, great for sauces, ketchups, and uh, the heat is really starting to kick in, that's why I'm struggling a bit more now with what I'm saying, but I'm hoping that, you know, I'm going to be able to get stiff back sooner rather than later, and I won't necessarily subject him to another hot, heaty challenge, but Oh, yeah, I am looking forward to doing like some more food tastings and things like that with him because you know I love having Steve on the channel and it's really sucked not having uh, having them around for the last few months um, but hopefully we're getting back to normal sooner rather than later um, and yeah I can start having him 
perhaps do more collaborations on the channel because now that I'm over a thousand subscribers I'd like to keep pushing myself getting more and more content out there that's a bit more varied and a bit more fun well a bit more fun uh, I say that like hopefully you do find these fun but you know what I mean just really trying to push myself so <coughs> okay okay just as I get to like about the minute mark there, that's really started to kick in on my tongue. But no bailing out now. So on to the final one, the Carolina Reaper. I may regret this. And I said it can't be as bad as Death Nut Challenge. I could be wrong. Mouth is really watering now. So I've got a couple of the Carolina Reaper ones. So in we go. Cheers. There's that familiar taste. Not too bad at first, um, but we'll see once I get uh, we'll get the rest of these in. <coughs> right, bon appetit. Okay, five minutes starting from now. And that means I've got to try and find stuff to talk to you about for five minutes. Oh God. Oh. There we go. There's that familiar heat that um, I enjoy so much. Jesus Christ. That's all on the tongue that is. Uh, okay. So. I mean, these spicy challenges they're a bit daft really, there's nothing to prove from these. But some people find them entertaining. There is some like morbid, like curious, curiosity about how hot things can go. Um, I think that's why I can, can kind of enjoy them um, in their own way. But it's, uh, it's interesting trying to find new and new things to try. These jelly beans that I, they came up on Amazon, I thought, why not give them a go? But there's more and more interesting things out there. I'm doing stretches now just to try and uh, distract myself from the intense heat that is on my tongue. Oh my God. I think that's about the first minute. And my tongue is getting very, very, very tingly. Oh. I didn't buy any milk either. Oh dear. But yeah, these spicy food challenges and like the stinky food and like the weird food challenges, they're just a bit of fun. It's trying new things out, which is all part of what I'm all about. I love trying new foods, whether they're new things I'm unfamiliar with or just things that people might struggle with otherwise. You know, we did the insects on here before. Oh dear. Oh, this is all on my tongue and it's starting to go down my throat. Diggity. Oh boy. It's still not on the level of the Death Nut Challenge, by any means. But it is all concentrated on my tongue and around that area. Which I don't know. It doesn't make it worse, but it certainly doesn't make it better. Okay, I think that's about two minutes. Anyway, what else can I talk to you about for three minutes? Uh, maybe my plans for the channel? So, like I said, I am over a thousand subscribers now. Um, and uh, obviously I want to keep trying to push myself, do new things, try things that will entertain you, find, that you'll find useful. Um, I do want to mark the thousand subscribers with some sort of like big video. Might be a giant food or something like that. I shall see, I'll have to see what I can come up with. Because we're still not fully out of lockdown or anything like that yet. So I can't really see anyone. So if I make something giant, I'll have to figure out what to do with it. Um, but what else is there? Oh, ah. oh, oh, excuse me. It's really doing a number of my tongue. It really is. Whew. I've definitely underestimated these. 
uh, yeah, if you do do these, be warned, they do pack a punch, but you're probably not supposed to eat them all in one go. Certainly not all by yourself. So if you just do one or two, you might be fine. If you do all of them, you might be sorry. And I have a feeling I'm gonna be sorry tomorrow. <sighs> I think I've got about a minute and a half to go which I'm glad about because I am starting to get a really running nose and it's going into my beard and I'm just sorry. I'm just so, so sorry. But hey, people enjoy these for some reason. Um, and yeah, I guess I kind of enjoy them too. It all seemed, always seemed like a good idea at the start and then by the end of it, I'm like, oh God, why? Why, why do I do this? All in the name of entertainment. Uh, dear, but... One minute to go, I think. So, yeah, just count things down. It is starting to ease off a little bit now. But, uh, uh, yeah, I think the next time I do one of these, I might have to get someone else on with me, because otherwise it's just me sitting here uh, doing these over and over again, which is fun for a bit, but gets to the point where it's just the same thing over and over again. And having something to bounce off of is actually good fun. Um, uh, maybe I won't let Stiv do another one of these. And unless, Stiv, you're watching and you want to, then by all means, be my guest, quite literally. But otherwise, I keep promising you a nice food tasting, so I should really do that for you, at least for the next one. Um, but yeah, if there's anyone else out there who fancies coming on the channel and trying to do a spicy challenge with me, by all means, join me. Don't let me suffer alone. <laughs> um, right, I think that's coming up. Three, two, one. I think that's about five minutes, roughly there. Um, if it's not exactly five minutes, I apologise, but uh, I don't have any water. I don't, I mean, I don't have any milk, but I've got some water, uh, which can make it worse, but anyway. Probably deserve it for being stupid. But anyway, that is another spicy challenge done. That's me doing the whole Flaming Five Bean Boozle Challenge from Jelly Belly by myself. Beat it, been there, done that. I uh, didn't get a t-shirt, but Jelly Bunny, if you do have a t-shirt, maybe send me one. But that's me done those. Um, and actually, they are quite nice tasting. If you like the taste of chilies, those are really accurate. Really accurate in the heat as well. Might be something fun to do with your friends if you're a bit sadistic like that. But oh yeah, that's another one done. And uh, I am going off to perhaps eat a bit of bread or something because that sometimes helps with the heat. Uh, I'm not going to stand here or sit here rather and waffle on and on. That is it from me. You'll probably see another one of these videos again soon, whether it's just me or someone else in the hot seat, quite literally. Um, but I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell to find out when new videos are going up. And I will see you next time on Big Friendly Ground if I survive. Take care. Bye! Can't reach it.